Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is what I call my country cornbread biscuits. Yes, indeed. This recipe is way down in Texas, like way in East Texas, Oakwood, Texas, Fairfield, Texas, Lubbock, Texas, all back in Texas. We used to have these old-fashioned cornbread biscuits to go with our greens and black-eyed peas and uh pinto beans or whatever you want to taste with them you can use them use those biscuits for that so what we're going to need is an empty bowl we're going to need some crisco we're going to need some cornmeal mix we're going to need some um dredo bacon bacon um mix buttermilk egg and a measuring cup we'll be right back all right we got a cup of cornmeal and a cup and a half of the bacon mix um we're going to use self-rising flour and in the baking mix it already have all the ingredients to make biscuits pancakes waffles and i'm trying this old-fashioned um uh, biscuit mix and it tastes real good it's a country barrel and it's really pretty good okay we're going to blend all this together we're going to put a half a cup maybe one fourth cup of crisco and we're going to blend it together Okay, we got the Crisco. What we're going to do is mash it all together. And you can use a pastry cutter, but doing it with your hands is better. It's, it gets all this ingredients together and just blend it like this. Just like this. Just make sure it's all blended together. And we'll be right back when we get through blending all this together. Alright, we got everything blended together. The shortening blending with the meal and the flour and it's self-rising flour and self-rising cornmeal the self-rising cornmeal is a cup of self-rising cornmeal and a cup and a half of self-rising flour that pancakes mix or baking mix when you want to call it so what we're going to do make sure that it's together by squeezing it like that and we squeeze it like that that lets you know you got enough moisture to work with a enough consistency to have a good biscuit okay we got a, some milk right here so what i'm going to do is add an egg to this and we're going to add the milk we're going to add the milk to the, we're going to add to the milk excuse me and we'll be right back all right we're going to add the milk and the egg just like that and we're going to make sure that it's not too watery we just don't want to make sure it's the right consistency of making a biscuit. Yes, indeed. This is what we come in. When you come short of making flour biscuits, you get some cornmeal. And you can make you some uh, cornbread biscuits. We're going to add some more. And make sure it's sort of sticky. Just like this. See how it's getting sticky? That's what you want. We're going to continue on doing this until we come back. All right, this is sort of texture that you want your uh, mixture to be. What we're going to do is fold it out. Now you can add sugar to this or honey. Honey or sugar, whatever you like, you can add to it. The thickness of your biscuits it depends on how you want them. So I'm going to make mine about an inch thick. And just spread them out on a flour surface just like this and we're gonna cut them and we'll be right back and let you see what they look like all right we cut one and see how inch it is that's how thick i want it and this sits right here on top of the pan i'm gonna do another one and that's the way i want them they're so fluffy they are a plus y'all cornbread biscuits wow ain't that amazing i'm gonna add them like this and we'll be right back and see what they look like all right we got them all cut out so what i'm gonna do is brush them down with some melted shortening all on top well i'm not brushing them down i'm just gonna spread the shortening all on top of the biscuits just like that and we're gonna put them in a 400 degree oven until they are golden brown and we'll be right back and let you see what they look like 
This is the end result of my cornbread biscuits. I put a little syrup with mine, y'all. Now you can add honey with yours if you want, or whatever you like, jelly. But really good with cornbread. What it's really good with is greens, like our peas and cabbage and red beans, all kind of beans and cabbage and greens. But I mine with some syrup. Look at them sitting over there waiting for everyone to turn into them. Ain't they beautiful? These are cornbread biscuits. This is Sandy. I'm going to tell you happy eating. And thank you for coming to my channel and getting these recipes. Go to soulfoodqueen.net and get the recipe for these cornbread biscuits.